asshole for ruining my sister-in-law's honeymoon by exposing her racism. My 27 female sister-in-law, 30 female, got married last weekend. She's my long-term boyfriend, 32 males, sister. They're white and I'm Middle Eastern, dark with raven black hair. She was looking for a photographer that wouldn't bankrupt her, so I suggested a friend of mine who's new in the business and charged less than half because a lot of these things cost over 5,000 euros these days. She was excited and I set a group chat with her and my photographer friend. We talked a little and later they met and they started messaging directly with each other. The wedding was amazing and everything went smoothly. I was one of her guests and she seemed happy. The next day they went off on their honeymoon. I don't know if it was by mistake, but instead of texting the photographer directly, she texted him in our old group chat. She thanked him, but had a favor to ask him and wondered whether he could retouch some of the flowers in the archway. And also if he could take me off some of the photos because I'm too dark and ruined the color palette. Not all pictures, just the ones that she's in. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding? Bitch, get the fuck out of here. I texted her back. Are you kidding me? She didn't answer. I took a screenshot and I posted it to my Insta story and tagged her in it. She called my boyfriend crying her eyes out, calling me an asshole for embarrassing her and ruining her honeymoon. If you don't want people to think that you're a shit person, don't do shit things. My boyfriend thought it was a low blow. I was blinded with rage when I did it, but now that I'm calm, I still don't feel like I'm the asshole. But people have been contacting her repeatedly, asking if she really wrote it. She's so beautiful and successful, so please don't blame it on jealousy or her being scared of being outshined. I don't think you're the asshole at all. I don't. This girl's only mad because you embarrassed her and she should be fucking embarrassed. She too goddamn old to be acting like this. If you didn't want the girl to be at the wedding, you should have said that. People act like you can't tell someone that you don't fucking want them around, but instead you gotta be disrespectful and low down. And now I'm the asshole for exposing your disrespect and your dirtiness. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, she's embarrassed and she fucking should be. She should be shamed. Update. My sister-in-law is still on her wedding, so I haven't talked to her yet, but she's bombarding my boyfriend, demanding that I apologize and make a new Insta story with my apology. What is the apology supposed to say? I'm sorry you decided to be a racist bitch and I exposed it to everybody? Like, what the fuck am I apologizing for? Like, really? Let's be fucking for real. What am I apologizing for? The fact that you're embarrassed because I put your messages, the message that you typed out reread and was like that's the one and sent i'm supposed to apologize for it the way you would be holding your breath until you turn green in the fucking face go ahead and wait for it wait for it more people got involved including my boyfriend's mother that thought i was way out of line ruining her daughter's wedding you mean the wedding that was over when she was sending this message could you imagine ruining an event that's no longer happening Damn, OP, you are powerful, girl. Stay, stay away from me, child. You ruining events after they over, girl. Don't come around here. Tell your boyfriend's mom to sit the fuck to the left and be fucking silent. I've also been contacted by my sister-in-law's friends. Some of them told me stories about what she's been saying about me behind my back. Yeah, she got what she deserved. The amount of her friends that weren't surprised at all with her text made it clear to me I'm not in the wrong. My sister-in-law is self-employed with some foreign customers, and that's why she's taking it so hard. She's scared this is going to affect her career. I don't feel like I should need, that I should save her career should something bad happen to it. Absolutely not. It's not your job to do damage control when she's the one who fucked up in the first place. You thought this was going to stay between you and the fucking photographer. She don't know what the fuck could have happened. She don't know how the photographer was going to feel about it. The photographer was your friend your friend, and she felt so bold enough to send your friend that you introduced her to a message asking for you to be taken out because of racist reasons. <laughs> your sister-in-law sister -in -law, fucked around and now she's finding out. You can't treat people like this and expect everyone to just ignore it. This is what the fuck happens when it comes out. My photographer friend did what he was told. That's the only right way in my opinion, being professional and not to confuse work with his own values. He asked me if I wanted him to say something, and I said no. I also asked him not to tell me what they're texting since she's his client and he shouldn't break that confidentiality. He's just starting his career and he will meet worse brides. She was at least nice to him throughout their interactions. I, I, I agree with you. 
I agree with you. Yes, he's your friend, but at this aspect right here, this is business. This is business. You do what you're asked regardless about how you feel about the situation. But truly, I feel like, I truly feel like he would have said something to you afterwards. At least I hope he did. He would have. I do think he would have said something because he asked you if you wanted him to say something on your behalf, you know? So I truly feel like if you wouldn't have gotten this message, you would have found out about this situation eventually anyway. Now on to my boyfriend. As I said, he thought this whole thing was uncomfortable. I told him if he wanted to be with me, he needed to discuss uncomfortable topics. He opened up and it's actually deeper than this. This has happened before. Oh no, hell no. Nah. To you or to like one of his other girlfriends? Because if it's happened to you before, then why are you still here? Why are we still with someone whose family is disrespectful to us? Ladies, gentlemen, my vays and my gays, we do not stay with people if they do not protect us from their family. It's not okay. It is not something that we should be fucking accepting. If your partner is not willing to stand up to their family for you, they are not the person for you. Stop putting yourself through this. His uncle is very rich and for his 60th birthday, he had a very big party. As a thank you for coming, we received cards with our pictures on it professionally taken. I remember this picture because his uncle had a red carpet moment when guests were photographed upon their arrival. Later on, we went to my boyfriend's mother's to see the rest of the pictures and I wasn't in any of them. So this happened before to you. To you. <laughs> okay, all right. I thought it was funny how I literally evaded being caught on camera. I never mentioned this or even reflected on it. And while my boyfriend and his family were looking at the pictures and discussing the evening, it was just so normal and no one mentioned anything out of the ordinary. Today, my boyfriend told me that I was photoshopped out of the pictures. So the whole family racist, the whole fucking family, everyone in his family knew it, but me. Yeah, we got to leave now. At the time, they just thought the uncle could choose whoever he wanted to have in his pictures and they moved on. Absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely not. So you mean to tell me everybody in the family was just like, well, I mean... You can pick who you want. And the only person he didn't want was a person whose skin pigment was lighter than everybody else's. And everybody thought that was okay. Get the fuck out of here. I was born at night, not last night. Shut, no, shut that shit the fuck down, girl. You need to not be here anymore. Like the way I would be single so fucking fast. I asked my boyfriend, had they all kept this from me? And he said, yes. So I told him that he must have thought that it was going to be hurtful. His response was that he asked his family not to tell me. I told him we continued going to that uncle's place. We celebrated Christmases, Easter's, and vacations with him. My boyfriend had nothing to say. I asked him, you didn't feel, uh, damn, you didn't feel offended on my behalf. Again, silence. I asked him, and now you think it's okay that your sister's doing the same thing. He said he didn't think that way and that he knows his sister. She's not racist. I told him if it wasn't racist, then why does she feel so embarrassed now? Again, he had nothing to say. I asked my boyfriend if he thought his sister was right. He said no. And I asked him, would he just stand and watch if this was to happen to our children? He said no. I know my boyfriend very well. He's very kind and I've never felt that he was racist in any way. I know he's not stupid and he's aware of these things, but that just makes it worse because it means he just doesn't care enough. Exactly. Either he doesn't care. Well, it's not even that he doesn't care. He agrees to some degree with how his family feels. Because if he didn't, he would do one of two things. One, he'd speak up about it. Or two, he would distance himself. And because he's not doing either of those things, I don't feel like it's just, oh, he just doesn't feel that way. No, some part of him agrees with them. So you guys got to come back for part two. Part two of Am I the Asshole for Ruining My Sister-in-Law's Honeymoon by Exposing Her Racism? I asked my boyfriend why he didn't care enough. And he said he was so sorry, but he knows me to be a strong girl who never let petty things like this affect her. He's right. I normally ignore 99% of the racism and microaggressions that I face in life. I even laugh at the ignorance. We even discussed this before, but does being strong mean that people are entitled to try to hurt me because I usually don't let them? Does it mean that I wouldn't appreciate to feel the support of my boyfriend having my back? Do strong women deserve being supported by their loved ones and feeling safe and loved? He couldn't answer this. Um, um, girl, you like, I'm tired of telling people to leave their relationships. But I mean, if you have to ask your partner these things, 
Like, I truly feel like as my partner, this these are things that I should never have to question, whether I'm strong enough to defend myself or not. I need to know without a doubt, no hesitation, regardless of who it is, that if something happens that is disrespectful or harmful to me, you will stand up for me. It doesn't matter that I can do it myself, that you're going to do it. Like those things fucking matter. And the fact that you have to ask this man this, like I, he needs, no, baby girl, he needs to be by himself. He, it, no, no. I told my boyfriend that I never want his sister in my life again or his uncle and probably not his mom if she still wants me to apologize. I don't want to surround myself with people like them and especially when I have children. I asked him if he was willing to live like that. I asked him to not answer me now and to think about it. It kind of felt like an ultimatum and that's bad, but I didn't know how else to handle the situation. I never thought of myself as someone who's petty or someone that makes ultimatums. This experience has taught me that I'm both. I absolutely love that you brought up these questions to your boyfriend. Do strong women not deserve to feel safe and love? Because when someone sees that someone does not need their help, that they do not need their support because they're strong enough to do it on their own, they back away and they leave you to handle things by yourself, not even caring about the emotional, mental, physical, you know, spiritual turmoil that it puts you through while going through whatever it is that you're strong enough to handle on your own. And yes, yes, we do. We do absolutely need and deserve to have people that are going to make us feel safe and feel supported regardless. Yes, I am a very dominant personality. I was the strong person when it came to a lot of different things. And I used to ask my mom the exact same thing. Who is there for the strong person? When the strong person finally breaks and that strong person has just way too much, way more than what they're able to carry, who is there for them? If I always have to wipe your tears and pat you on the back and tell you that everything's okay, when I'm finally on my knees and in tears, who comes for me? And people, we absolutely deserve that. We absolutely do. And it's time for you to find someone that you never have to question that with. So OP's boyfriend either left a comment or she let him put an edit on an update or whatever on one of her posts, but boyfriend had something to say and I'm gonna read it for you guys. This is the rightfully very much hated boyfriend speaking. I've read both posts and all of your comments on the update. I'm overwhelmed with the amount of support that my girlfriend has received. Overwhelmed and ashamed that total strangers on the internet have shown my girlfriend more support and love than I ever have. The person who's supposed to be the closest to her and I failed to support my girlfriend. I failed to be her rock, but my only excuse is that I've never done it out of malice. I thought I was protecting her from being hurt. I was wrong and I'm very sorry about that. But if there's any consolation, I did it out of love for her. There's no excuse for my passivity. There's only an explanation and it's thus. Because of my privilege, I made the wrong assessment of the incidents and I deemed them, albeit hurtful, not really serious or harmful. I deemed them to be pathetic, ridiculous, and petty. I was wrong and I will not pretend that I need to be educated on racial inequality. I should have known all of these things already. I can only promise that I will have her back and be more active and alert moving forward. I choose her any day of the week and I will have a talk with my family. I will make them apologize to her. It's her decision to forgive them or not, but I choose her. It was never really a choice to begin with. She's my future wife and the mother of my future children. I've known this for years. I'm so sorry. I love when I'm wrong. I do. I truly love that when I read some stories and I make my assumptions and I jump to conclusions throughout the story just to get to the end. And it's not that because I was fully ready for this to be a case of that's just how my family is. You know, babe, it's not that big a deal. Stuff like that. The shit that we normally hear when we get to these kind of stories. But it wasn't, it wasn't like that. Like, bro is not willing to lose her. He knows that he was wrong and he's willing to take account accountability for it. And I'm here for it. I love it. You know, accountability. That's one of my favorite words. I love that he knows that he was wrong. He's not pretending that he doesn't understand racial inequality. He, he knows and he's admitting that he knows and he feels bad for it. He's choosing this girl and I absolutely love it. This is refreshing to get a different type of conclusion to a situation like this. I, I love it. Am I the asshole for lying to my daughter and not letting her use her inheritance to go to a private high school? My husband and I have four kids, 21, 14, 12, and seven. Our 21-year-old Gabriella 
is from my husband's first wife. My 14 year old Lucy is extremely bright. We own a restaurant and she works for us on weekends for some spending money. Lucy remembers everyone's exact orders without writing anything down. She's incredibly smart with anything that involves numbers and she loves math and science. Last year, we walked in on her, on her doing Gabriella's pre-nursing anatomy and chemistry homework. She's 14. That's awesome. That's abs- Why would you not want to send her to private school? They have so many more opportunities for her. She's extremely gifted. When we asked her why she was doing this, she said she saw it and she thought it would be fun. She ended up tutoring Gabriella in a class she wasn't even taking. Baby girl is smart, smart. Like she's real. Why would you not want to give her all the opportunities that she can? Last year, one of our regulars was talking to Lucy while we were slow. He was telling her how he works for a private school a few blocks from the restaurant and how he thinks she should apply. He showed her pictures of the science labs and she fell in love with the school. That night, she started begging us to apply. My husband and I already knew about the school. We had looked into it for her before. It's one of the best in the state, but it's nearly $60,000 a year. Okay, well, that may be... Well, no, you said you weren't going to let her use her inheritance, so it's not like you don't have the money. It's extremely competitive. There's approximately a 10% acceptance rate. So we decided to just let her apply because the chances were was that she wasn't going to get in. We applied. She took the test and the interview. She took a private tour and even shadowed for a day. We made sure she knew the chances of her getting in were slim to none. She was accepted with a great financial aid package. That's awesome. That's absolutely amazing. $15,000 for tuition and all fees covered. But we still can't afford to shell out sixty k for just high school. So we told her that she wasn't accepted. You're absolutely the asshole. You're absolutely the fucking asshole. You lied to her. Like you let her take all this to all these tests just to fucking lie to her. You should have just said no from the fucking beginning. You shouldn't have even let her take the test. We let her take the test. We let her do the tour. We reminded her it was a possibility that she wasn't going to get in. Then when she did get in, we lied to her and told her that she did it. You're absolutely the fucking asshole. Like what? what the fuck? That's terrible. That is terrible. She was devastated for a week and then she started to get over it. We did manage to get her transferred to a better public school. I don't know how, but she recently found out she actually did get into the school. Your 14-year-old tutored her 21-year-old sister in pre-nursing anatomy and chemistry. And you're shocked that she found out about a secret that you guys were keeping from her? <laughs> what the fuck? You're not giving her enough credit. Your daughter is fucking smart. <laughs> She's smart as fuck. There's very little you guys are going to be able to hide from her without going through extreme lengths, especially now. I don't know how, but she found out and she's been furious ever since. She's yelled at us too many times to count. She's cried for days and she's now upset that we wouldn't use the college fund my parents set up, $45,000 to help her cover the cost. When I said she can't touch it until college, she started saying she could have used her inheritance from my husband's parents, approximately 400,000 to get in. Again, I said, no, it should be used for a better purpose, like buying her first house. There's also the issue that I can't give her younger siblings the same education if she goes there, and that'll cause a problem with them. She hasn't spoken to us for over a week, so I wanted to know if I was the asshole. Okay, so personally, I do feel like this is a bit of an asshole move. I Personally, I do. OP starts out in the beginning saying that the schooling's originally $60,000 a year and then says that they that um, baby girl got a financial aid package to bring it down to 15,000 and all of her fees were covered. So it's 60,000 for all four years of high school, which I think is absolutely great considering it's $60,000 a year. I think that's absolutely amazing. What I'm a little bit confused about is you, uh, Lucy is one of the middle two children out of the four that you have. She has together between both of her grandparents, $450,000. Did none of your other children receive this inheritance? And if they did, what would be so fucking wrong about using this for her, using a portion of her inheritance for her? And then if, big fucking if, because we don't know whether your kids are going to want to go to private school or not, if they decide to do the same thing, you do the same thing. That way everything's fucking fair. Because I truly don't feel like your, your parents and your husband's parents would only leave inheritance to Lucy. Like, I truly, I know sometimes it does happen, but I truly do not feel like that was the case in this situation. I truly don't. 
I feel like everybody got this money, but these are the reasons that you're giving her because you just don't want her to go to this school. And I truly think that's fucked up because she could have so many advantages going to the school. Girlfriend is already brighter than the sun. Baby girl is smart, smart. Like, <laughs> I just don't understand. I mean, but this isn't my family, this ain't my money. But personally, I do feel like this is an asshole move. I couldn't imagine making one of my children's lives harder just so that I can keep things equal between them and their siblings. Like, these kids are all going to have separate hopes and dreams and things that they're good at and things that they like. And you shouldn't hold one back simply because it's a possibility that the others may want to do it too. That's fucked up. Your oldest is in nursing. What if she decides she doesn't want to be a nurse, but she wants to be a doctor and therefore she wants to go to medical school? Are you going to tell her no? Because what if your other siblings want to do it too and we can't afford to send all four of you guys to medical school? Like, this is so fucked up to me. Like, I know other people may feel differently, but I feel like this is so fucked up. You're telling her that she can't afford to go when the money is there and can be spent. But you've decided, you have decided that it's better spent somewhere else. This girl could literally be getting so many advantages. She could be taking, end up taking college classes in high school. She could graduate with her, her high school diploma and an AA degree at the same time. But no. We're just going to move you from one public school and put you in a better public school after we lied about telling you that you did not get into the high school of your dreams. That's fucked up. That is so fucked up. Like, I've never heard of someone actually sabotaging their fucking children. Like, when it comes to shit like this, this is terrible to me. Like, personally, I, I cannot. I fucking cannot. This is making my fucking stomach hurt.